Hello, so we are back, and this time we have a nice laptop to repair, yeah, before we are reading the letter. Uh, what do you think? Like a 17 inch screen, a nice laptop. Now what the customer is saying, that's more interesting. As per conversation, laptop stopped wo stop to work a few hours after installing a new SSD drive. That's bad, because the SSD is connected to the PCH. I have noticed when I open that one of the capacitors is burned, so I did desolder it. No capacitor, no short on capacitor. <laughs> Feels bad, man. You know what I mean? You can't do something. Like, you, you, you think you can just remove components from the motherboard? If you have a problem with your teeth, what you are doing? Taking it out? No, you go to the dentist. So same with the capacitor. You have a problem with the capacitor? You have to have a professional to remove that capacitor. You can't, you can't just remove yourself. <laughs> I've, I'm, I've, I think I'm growing up monsters on this channel. People start figuring out how, I'm, how I'm making money, how I fix things. Next to the DC input. I hope it can be brought back to life. So even removing the capacitor, uh, the laptop still not working. It make me, you know, it make me feel happy. I mean, uh, this is one case on actually removing the, the capacitor. I don't know how the customer figured it out was a shorter capacitor. But he say it was burned. Okay. Anyway, um, it makes me feel good. Actually, people uh, trying to do something. You, you know what I mean? You try to do something. You try to do something. It, it doesn't matter if it's right or wrong, but you try to do something. That's the point I'm trying to make. Okay, let's grab a charger. Acer, right? Acer, yeah, the blue. Yeah, that's the one. So I'm kind of proud, you know what I mean? I'm happy I can, uh, you know, just give the people an idea. Okay, check the board. You see a uh, dead capacitor, which looks like a shorter capacitor? Then, yeah, you know, try, remove it. Nothing will happen. So it's taking 1.6 amps. We have the charging sign on the screen, pressing the power button. And the laptop is taking only is taking 2.6 amps. Okay, the laptop it is coming on, but no picture on the screen. That's bad. That's bad because the SSD is connected to the PCH. Okay, let's open the laptop. Before we are starting, let's speak about our sponsor, PCBWay. PCBWay is your one-stop solution for all kinds of PCBs. 3D printing, CNC, she metal, all are available on their website. I will leave a link in the description. Every new register, they will have $5 to buy PCBs, which is about 10 PCBs. So basically, you just make an account and you have like 10 PCBs for free. All you have to do is to pay for the postage. Now I did check myself the quality. It's unbelievable. So check here. Those are PCBs from the PCB way. As we start on the other channel with the beginner lessons, definitely I will order some PCBs from PCB way. Okay. Yeah, I can see something here. But this have nothing to do with actually our fault. But let's check together. Hello, oh, what is that? That's not a capacitor. That's an inductor. And you know, I I don't I don't even know what it's doing. One second. So you didn't remove a capacitor. That's an inductor. It's a PL. You can see on the. You can see on the board. Let's plug the charger. Okay, so the charger is plugged in. Let's see what we have here. So here we have zero. Here we have 18.8. Uh, 18.8, but the power supply is 19.3. Okay, the voltage is getting dropped because the battery is charging. Uh, you know what? Actually, the customer remove a PL, which is an inductor. Yeah, you can see PL. So probably you remove something like that. You see, those are PL. 
Let's see, inductors. But, you know, this looks bad, and I'll tell you why it's looking bad. So this PL, which we can see here, is 18 volts, 19 volts. And here is zero. So this is supplying power to something. I don't know where it's supplying power. And if, if this was burned, most likely here is short. But I'll, uh, let me switch the multimeter. No, it's not short. Wait, so how you figure it out actually? Okay, let's short that. Why this was blow up then? So shorting this and nothing happened. You can see? Nothing. Okay, let's solder. Uh, let's solder a proper calibrated fuse there. So customer remove the power from somewhere. Okay, let's use a little bit of rosin. Good. Good. A fuse. What did you say? You said the fuse is not inductor. Okay, so we rebuild the uh, we rebuild the inductor. Now let's plug the charger and see what it's doing. So plug in the charger back. The charger is plugged. Let's power on the laptop. And the laptop it is coming on. It's taking four amps, so probably that inductor was from uh, some CPU power supply. You can see it's taking 4.2 amps. Beep. Can you hear that beep? It's because I don't have enough current. I have 4.7 amps. Okay, I need a customer charger because I don't have enough current. Give me one second. Okay, we plug the charger. Pressing the power button. Nineteen point seven, so it's fine. Yeah, the voltage is right. The CPU is getting warm. It's working. I can't believe. Wait, let, let me understand. So the customer removed the inductor. But I, I don't understand. The laptop stopped working. The customer removed the inductor. So the, or the customer removed the inductor. Uh, preventive. In case, you know, to prevent something bad happening in the future. Probably he thought, you know what? If I remove the capacitor, then the capacitor cannot get shorted. <laughs> I can't believe. So actually the laptop is working. That's crazy. So what we did, all what we did, we sold a proper calibrated wire there. I mean, we created with a proper calibrated wire, we created a proper calibrated fuse, yeah? That's insane. I mean, it doesn't make sense based on what the customer is saying. The customer said he replaced the SSD. The laptop stopped working. Yeah, that's what he's saying. 
laptop stop work few hours after installing a new SSD drive after one of two of the reboots <laughs> let me restart the laptop maybe you know maybe if we are rebooting the laptop okay so the laptop is restarting And it's working, it's coming on. So not sure what should I do, what should I fix here? I mean, it's just a coincidence you installed the SSD. Maybe the Windows was doing updates. Maybe the BIOS got frozen, you know, you never know. You just, you know, open, you have to reset, unplug the BIOS battery, the battery. I'm, 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 I will say I'm sorry because, uh, you know, I thought uh, we have a hard case here, yeah, like laptop coming on, you know, picture, but that's because uh, that inductor was supplying power most likely to the CPU. You remember the current jump out to like over 4 amps, which is normal. This is a gaming laptop. The charger has like 10 amps. So not sure what uh, what I should fix here, what I should do here. But like a general rule, yeah? If you are just, you know, you are a subscriber, you like my videos, that's fine, yeah? But don't remove yourself the capacitors, yeah? I mean, you'll never know. You try with hot air, yeah? And you, it's a chip. You can burn that chip, which is next to the capacitor. Or you have something, I don't know, you have a cap I don't know, you have something else. It's dangerous. So it's good, you know, just to let the professionals to handle the capacitor removal. <laughs> uh, I'm just joking, but you know, uh, the problem he didn't figure it out actually, okay, it's black because it's an inductor. That's the reason why it's black. It's not a capacitor, it's an inductor. Okay, now, yeah, just to clear the things, uh, why replace the inductor with a wire? I mean, I can easily pull up an inductor from another board and solder the inductor there. You see, if something is wrong, like maybe the customer is right, maybe the inductor was blow up. Now we are soldering back another inductor, so that inductor blow up from a reason. Yeah, you have a dodgy MOSFET or, a, I don't know, dodgy capacitor, we don't know. But... If you, an inductor doesn't have like a current limit. I mean, the inductor is not a fuse. So I prefer on a case like this, when it's, it's not clear where that, why that inductor blow up, I prefer to have a fuse. And if, if something was wrong, I know my fuse, it will blow up. If you use an inductor, the current it will goes like, you know, on the charger limit before it will blow up. So I feel more safe having a fuse there and uh, I'm willing to take the risk, you know, in the future, if, if indeed something is wrong on the motherboard, I'm willing to take the risk, the laptop, it will go dead again, but my fuse, it will blow up and it will protect, uh, you know, whatever uh, it's, let's say, randomly getting shorted on the motherboard. This is not like a clear repair. We don't know why that inductor blow up. We don't know even that, if, even if that inductor really blow up. Or, you know, the customer just make a confusion because the inductor is black and he thought, uh, you know, it's a, it's a short, it's, it's a blow up capacitor. So, yeah, I do prefer in a case like this to have a fuse instead of an inductor. Okay, so I'm going to stop now. I will say uh, I'm happy I helped this customer. I will say thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you like the video and uh, see you on the next one. Bye.